Hello everybody, welcome back to the Talking Fitchburg Update. Today, uh, we go back to one of our favorite guests, Department of Ag Trade Consumer Protection, Michelle. She's joining us via, from somewhere remote. She told me it's like in the middle of the ocean, or maybe it's in uh, Wisconsin, who knows. Michelle, welcome back to the show. Long time no see, how have you been? I've been great. I am sitting safer at home and just trying to stay that way by abiding by all that social distancing go for my walk but then do our consumer protection work so hopefully you're doing well as also yeah i mean i can't beat the at home life i mean it's nice to have the kids around and then it's nice to remember that you know we used to put the kids in daycare so you get a little bit of a break but that's here or there so if you hear or see my daughter come in here i apologize she loves consumer protection stuff so that's it's part of the reason why she'd want to run in here i, I swear uh, Michelle, That's perfect. Let's start it young. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, we're talking today about the coronavirus, uh, some uh, scams, uh, basically kind of a sum up of, uh, if I'm gathering this right, uh, some of the things you guys have been watching out for. But uh, overall, uh, just real quick, uh, from the Department of Egg Trade Consumer Protection standpoint, uh, everybody is, is working from home and you guys are, are still fully operational during this time. We are. We are fully operational. We're receiving complaints as normal. Our hotline is working. The normal business hours, 7.45 to 4.30. The emails are being responded to in the same time and fashion. You can file your complaints directly online and those are being processed. But we're fully staffed. Um, everyone is working from home uh, safely and that includes our hotline. Uh, so going to the first topic then here is uh, ignoring the uh, online offers for uh, vaccination or home testing kits. We've seen uh, across the country fake places set up uh, or there's a cure, all of these things. Uh, break it down for us. What have you heard? Yeah, so we've seen nationwide as well as from Wisconsin consumers that we are getting phone calls and phishing emails claiming that there are treatments and cures. They could be vaccine offers, test kit offers, um, miracle cures, and then Medicare related scams as well. And to the point where in Dane County there was a report of someone impersonating a healthcare inspector. Um, and we want to make sure that consumers are using the same principles we had in place before COVID-19, which is stop, think, and act. Um, the, you're not going to get new information, treatment information, vaccine information from an unsolicited phone call. You're not going to receive this information from an email from a, a government imposter. We need to remember to use our reliable sources of information, wisconsin.gov slash COVID-19. Um, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, and the World Health Organization in order to get updates and all the information we need to make sound decisions during this time. Yeah, it sounds like a too good to be true uh, offer at best. And uh, yeah, you got to do your do your homework and uh, know where you're buying from leads us into the next one, something that you've uh, talked about uh, many times over. Yeah, you always want to know who you're doing business with. Don't let these imposters get in the way um, and uh, fool you into making decisions without your reliable source information. So if there's a deal that you want, an offer you want to accept, something you want to check out, go to the source. Um, type in the URL yourself if you're on the internet talk to friends and family. It's important right now, more important than ever to be reaching out. So talk about the decisions you need to make and the phone calls you might be receiving. And, and don't be fooled by a, 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 a robo call or someone wanting you to make an instant decision. Yeah, and that going into our next uh, topic is the robocalls uh, still going on, even uh, not COVID related. But uh, if you do get one uh, COVID related, most likely it's probably going to be a scam. Yeah, again, you're not going to find out the latest vaccine or treatment or, um, you know, any information from a robocall. That's not the way the government works and is rolling out information on any of this subject area. And there are, they are still ramping up robocalls and the situation we're in right now where most uh, individuals are working from home or are just home 
at a higher rate than ever before, there's more likelihood that a consumer is going to pick up the phone and be faced with this robocall and this decision. So again, try not to answer the phone if you don't recognize the number. Uh, if you do pick up the phone and it's an automated robocall, just hang up, disconnect. There's no reason why you need to engage in that phone call. Do not hit buttons, you know, the one or the nine in order to uh, receive more information, talk to a representative, be removed from the their internal <laughs> do not call list. You need to disengage and not fall victim to this just because you're at home and more susceptible uh, just because of the, the, the higher volume that you'll be uh, engaged with of these phone calls. Yeah, not only on the phone call side of things, but also your emails uh, are going to be a huge target here uh, of unsolicited emails and more. Uh, your advice on that front? Again, um, we have seen an, uh, a number of phishing emails. Uh, some look like they're coming from the Centers for Disease Control. Others look like they're coming from World Health Organization. We're seeing phishing emails that look like they're coming from within individual businesses. Even the state of Wisconsin is receiving some of these phishing emails. And in there, it will look like you can get an update uh, to the current status of the COVID-19 uh, situation um, or emergency. Just click this button in order to get the latest news. Well, these are links that can take you to imposter sites or they're links that could load malicious software onto your computer. And now that we have more people at home working from potentially their home computers or their business issued devices, they're still not connected to their normal uh, networks necessarily. And we need to be sure that people aren't falling victim to these phishing attack emails. Yeah, absolutely. Scary stuff out there uh, because, again, they look too good to be true uh, and best uh, just ignore it. And, uh, you know, it, again, most likely it is a scam. Uh, one that I know we could spend a lot of time talking about uh, is donations and donations um, uh, are critical during this time. But uh, making sure you're donating to the right person and not getting scammed needs to be top priority when you do make a donation. It is. Uh, donations are definitely in need right now um, for goods and, and monetary donations. And there are some new organizations popping up and there are new extensions of existing uh, charities also being developed. And you want to be sure that your dollars go to the cause that you want to support. And so that involves doing your research. If you have an established relationship with a known charity that you're comfortable giving to, use your past information, reliable sourced information to connect with them and make your donation. If you're looking at, at a potential new charity or a charity that's new to you, um, to give to to support the cause, then be sure that you check them out and are comfortable before giving. And you can go to the Department of Financial Institutions, our state agency that regulates charities to be sure that they're registered here in Wisconsin. And then charitynavigator.org is also an excellent resource for consumers to use in order to be sure that the, that the, the charity is sound. And then the Better Business Bureau of Wisconsin has give.org and they are also an excellent Research, resource in order to do your research about the charity before you give. Uh, finally, uh, Michelle, it would be the uh, question about the stimulus checks that are coming out, uh, that information. Uh, we know that <laughs> uh, anytime there's checks coming out for, for tax, around tax, whatever the case may be, uh, it seems like uh, the scammers are going to pounce on that. Uh, what would you have for uh, quickly here on safety tips on that front what to watch out for? Um, what consumers need to do in order to make sure that they get their stimulus check or feel confident is not respond to unsolicited calls, um, not uh, proceed with any type of email solicitation that they receive about the stimulus check. No one's going to get their check in advance of someone else just for verifying information or making a payment or confirming information and data. The IRS is your reliable, sourceful information about the stimulus checks. Um, the Federal Trade Commission and DadCap's web websites will have information about the scams related to stimulus checks. 
Um, but you don't want to respond to unsolicited phone calls. You don't need to uh, respond to emails or confirm information. The IRS has what it needs or has the tools on their website if you need to update any electronic banking information. Um, but they're using 2018 and 2019 tax information to get that money out to consumers. And we don't want anyone to respond to a phone call or any type of phishing email as it relates to those checks. Because the scam artists definitely follow the headlines and are very interested in trying to get the money that people will receive from these checks. Yeah, Michelle, thank you so much for, for the information today. If folks want to learn more about uh, staying safe out there, we, uh, we know where to go. Can you tell us? Yes, please call our hotline, 1-800-422-7128, or go to our website at DATCP. .wi.gov. We not only have our normal fact sheets about all the different scams, but we also have a section on COVID-19 where we have a number of frequently asked questions as it relates to consumer protection issues. So it's a very valuable uh, place on our website. Michelle, as always, thank you so, so very much. Uh, thank you for taking the time and uh, we'll check back in with you stu uh, soon. Stay safe out there. Same to you. Thanks. All right, that is Michelle from Department of Aid, Trade and Consumer Protection. Always love having uh, those folks on. They do a great job. Check out the website for more information. Don't get scammed.